morning and welcome to another edition of From the Newsroom. And the news is that uh, recently HSBC AMC has withdrawn exit loads from all its schemes. Now an exit load is, an, is a charge which is really meant to uh, discourage early withdrawals from uh, schemes. So why did HSBC do this and scrap exit loads? I've got with me Kaizad Adhijanya who's going to tell us what it means for the AMC and why they did it and what it means for investors. Hi Kaizad. So uh, HSBC has scrapped all its exit loads. Now uh, why did the AMC take such a step? Well, when we spoke to the AMC, uh, what the AMC told us was that you know they wanted to make the product more simpler than what it usually is, and uh, you know it's it's sort of uh, uh, giving the flexibility to investors as to you know you, they can invest any time and they can withdraw any time they want. Uh, you know, if exit loads are there, then you know there is this uh, uh, sort of this compulsion, uh, uh, hidden compulsion to sort of to stay invested. Uh, for a period of let's say one year, suppose if the exit loads are for one year. So by removing the exit loads, they, they said that they've given more flexibility to investors. You come to us, invest anytime you want and you take your money and you can go anytime you want. So that is the reason, that is the main reason why they've, uh, you know, scrapped exit loads across all schemes, not just for debt, but also for equity. So does this mean that investors will move in and out more frequently, you think? Uh, it will uh, it will give an impetus to investors to move in, in and out frequently. Yes, you are right in that, and especially the high net worth investors, because these are the investors, the high net worth investors, the rich investors. They are more inclined to sort of uh, you know trade more than the retail investors, and they are also more inclined to book profits at the slightest hint of a profit. So there could be an urge for such investors to move in and out frequently. You have to assume, obviously, that the fund also is doing well for investors to come in in the first place. Mm -hmm. But assuming that the fund does well, and assuming that all things remain constant, uh, yes, this is uh, it, there is a chance. There is a chance for uh, uh, you know large investors to move in and out frequently. But intuitively, isn't it good that there are no exit loads? I mean, uh, shouldn't investors be happy? And you know, is this uh, something that investors should look at for actually investing in HSBC schemes? Okay, to answer your first question, definitely uh, exit loads are good, we feel, because, you know, um, they also, uh, see, why do you invest in equity in the first place? I mean, you invest in equity because you want to create wealth over a long term, and equity is always create wealth over a long term, not over a short term. Mm -hmm. And uh, whenever you want to invest in equity funds, we always recommend a time period of about three years at least, you know. So an exit load of one year, uh, of course, one year, it doesn't mean that, you know, the equities are meant for a period of more than, uh, you know, just one year or so above. But at least one year gives you that sense of discipline that if you want to put your money in equities, you m one year is the bare, bare minimum that you must stay invested. Okay. And uh, so obviously, I mean, if you remove the exit loads, then obviously there will be a temptation for you to sort of invest today, take out tomorrow again, invest today, take out tomorrow. So it's not really good for investors. It's also not good for existing investors because if there are too many frequent inflows and outflows happening, then, uh, you know, it sort of disrupts the fund manager's uh, momentum also then the fund manager also cannot always uh, invest in scripts from a long term point of view also has to always then invest in you know li very liquid scripts to uh, you know ensure that whenever there is a mass withdrawal there is always cash so it, you know it, it disturbs existing investors it disturbs fund management also and as far as hsbc schemes are concerned uh, see to be very, very honest with you hsbc schemes have not been doing very well for a long time so Apart from exit loads, I mean, even if you go by pure performance also, their schemes are not really worth investments. I mean, you can consider, let's say, one or two schemes. I'm just giving you an overall, uh, over, I mean, just giving you an over overview of the fund house. But otherwise, I don't think that, uh, you know, uh, uh, you should invest in a mutual fund just because there is no exit load. Mm -hmm. Exit loads are good, actually. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, on the face of it, it sounds good that there is no exit load, no charge for the investor. But if you look at the details, well, it really isn't that good for you. So look at the details, look at the performance before investing, not just the exit load.